Hello, and welcome to the School of Lotti. My name is Sam Osborne, and I'm going to be your teacher today. And in this class, we're going to be covering everything to do with interactions and Lotti animations. In this class specifically, we're going to be getting set up with two different dependencies, Lotti Interactive and Lotti Interactivity. Lotti Interactivity is a library developed by Lotti Files, which allows different types of interactions, mostly based around scrolling on the web page and the cursor position. Lotti Interactive was developed by myself and allows to play animations based on clicking, hovering, something called morphing, and playing an animation when it appears on the web page. In this session, we're going to be set up with our two different dependencies inside of our web page, which you can find in the description box below, so that you can follow along throughout the whole course. We're going to get started with a solid foundation so that we have something to build upon throughout these different lessons where we integrate more and more different types of interactions. If that sounds good to you and you want to be notified when the rest of these videos release, be sure to subscribe to the channel and follow the socials in the description box below. Class is now in session, let's get started. Over the course of the next few lessons, this is the website we're going to be filling out with lots of different Lottie animations and integrations. This is a website I made with Bootstrap and I tried to integrate as many real life interactions as possible. So here this animation is playing on click. I've integrated a toggle animation. So you could use this for example as a light and dark mode for the website. And that's using the switch interaction. And then if you look down at this purple banner and when I scroll down, it will start playing the animation. So that's play on show. And here we're going to have a lighthouse synced up to the scrolling of the web page. As you can see, that's looking quite nice. And then here I just listed a few more of them, a few more different interactions. Um, so here we have on click, playing on hover, something called morphing, uh, which I'll go into more detail in because you need to create a special animation for this type of interaction and that's morphing and this is morph click so it's locking the end of the animation when we click on it and here we're going to link up the animation to the horizontal movement of the cursor so as you can see as we move the cursor over it it opens and closes the blueprint so this is school of lotti so it's a basic website built in bootstrap and this is our foundation. So if you open up the GitHub repository in the description, uh, you can start at lesson zero if you want to. In this lesson, we're just going to be adding our dependencies, our style sheets, and setting up the web page. Because for the moment, uh, we don't have any CSS or dependencies integrated for the moment. So that's why our website looks like this. So heading into the code, you can go up to the top of the index.html file that you can find, find at the root of the lesson 00 directory. So open that up and let's start including some style sheets. So these are the ones that I created um, just to style the web page. Actually, let's include bootstrap. Uh, bootstrap min, there we go, and yeah, so bootstrap is included in the CSS folder, and then let's just add widgets and front page as well. So there's front page, and widgets.css. There we go. I've added some Google fonts, so you don't have to worry about those, just leave them there. And, oh yeah, we can't have Bootstrap. They're not part of Bootstrap. There we go. And this is the HTML, which we're gonna be filling out later on. But for the moment, let's scroll down to the scripts. And let's add some more Bootstrap code. So 
Uh, the local JavaScript for Bootstrap is in JS and then under Bootstrap and the bundle. So let's just do, uh, do, 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 do JS Bootstrap Bootstrap bundle.js and let's just add a type text JavaScript and here we're going to include our Lottie libraries. So we're going to need Lottie Interactive and Lottie Interactivity. So for Lottie Interactive, I'm just going to type uh, Lottie Interactive npm, uh, find the package, and then just grab this little bit of code. So we're going to include that. And as you can see, basically our Lottie Interactive library is hosted here at this URL. And using this script tag is going to go and fetch it. And because we're using a static website, this will work just fine. So let's do that. And that's Lottie Interactive. And then Lottie Interactivity. So Lottie Interactivity was made by Lottie Files. And first of all, you're going to need the web player. So under code uh, web player, let's grab the player code. And there we go, paste that there. So that's Lottie player, you can see here, lottieplayer.js. And for the interactivity, part of it, we're going to have to get a, another library, which is under code and then interactivity guide and getting started HTML DOM. There we go. Lottie. Oh no, not that. Via CDN. There we go. Let's just grab Lottie interactivity, paste it there. And because this video is for setting up the web page, uh, let's start, even if it's empty for the moment, let's just add our own code uh, file. So JS interactions.js. Later on, we're going to be putting the necessary code inside this file to make Lottie interactivity work to get the uh, synced up scrolling interaction working and the horizontal cursor. So once again, just text JavaScript and then SRC JS interactions.js. And that should be good. So now we should have a basic uh, format of the web page. So that's looking broken, but it's just because it's missing the animations, which we'll be doing over the course of the next few lessons. But that's good. That's how to get started. This is our foundation of our website. Let's get adding some interactions. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to play an animation on click. So now that we've got the setting up of the web page out of the way, we can start adding interactions. And for this first lesson, we're going to start off with the very basics, playing an animation on click. So here on your web page, we're going to add the Lottie logo that's going to auto play and then play again on click. We're also going to add an on click animation here and a freeze click animation as well. So head back into the code into index.html. So head to the welcome section and we're going to add a Lottie interactive element. We're going to set its path to animations slash lottie.json it's interaction to click and you'll see that if you do if you do that uh, the animation won't appear and it will appear when you click on it and play again when you click on it again if you want um, if you want it to appear we're going to add autoplay so that when the page loads, people can see the animation. And then we can click on it 
and it will play again. So that's cool. Um, let's add another click animation. So down here in the interaction section, um, let's add another lofty interactive element and set its path to animations contacts list dot json interaction equals click and as you can see it's super simple to add lot animations uh, with lot interactive just one html element set its path if you want interactions uh, go ahead and just add the interactions attribute interaction attribute sorry with your desired interaction and refresh click there we go that's really nice really nice animation and there's also a brand new interaction I've added to lot interactive which is freeze click um, so let's just go ahead here and this will stop the animation when you click on it uh, into lot interactive path animations just going to copy that and paste it because it's a bit long. Oops. Uh, interaction is freeze click. There we go. There we go. And click. Actually, I let it play through. So if we click once, it's going to play through. And then if we click again, it's going to pause the animation. And we can do that as long as we want. If you want to get a good, if you want to get a better look at the animation, or just uh, just play around with it, we can freeze it. Great. So that's a very quick lesson on how to add clicking interactions with Lottie. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to play an animation when it appears on screen. Let's start filling out this purple banner with a play on show animation. So one thing I really love uh, in Lottie Interactive is the ability to play animations uh, when they appear on screen. So let's get started with that. Head to the begin section and add a Lottie Interactive element. Add its path slash animations animations slash bool on stairs and its interaction is play on show. Super simple. Reload the page. Ooh, let's just reload the page. So as you can see, it's waiting and when we scroll down, it's going to start playing when it comes into view. As you can see, that played once, and it's playing again when it comes back into view. So there we go. Um, for this animation, I like, well, I've made it to be a perfect loop. So I'm just going to add loop to it and then reload the page and there we go that should loop and it's as simple as that just one line of code add your play on show interaction and you are playing on show in this lesson we're going to be learning how to play an animation on hover another super basic but super easy to implement interaction we're going to be doing is playing on hover head over to your code and in the interaction section uh, number three which is just under our freeze click animation we're going to quickly add a hover interaction so once again add a lottie interactive element set its path to animation slash dashboard and it's interaction to hover. Super quick. And there we go. And there we go. It's playing on hover. 
If you wanted this to go on forever once you hover over it, just add loop, refresh the page, and it's going to loop on and on. But I'm going to just have it play once. There we go. Super easy. Lots of interactive path interaction hopper. That's it for this one. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about morphing animations. In this lesson, we're going to be doing morphing interactions. But before that, I need to explain how you can actually make morphing animations. So to explain how they work, I've headed over to my website, svgenius.co. And here's a morphing animation. So as you can see, when I hover over it, it plays, it stays at this frame. And then when I release it, it actually plays backwards. And for these kind of interactions, you need an animation that isn't a perfect loop, basically. For our website, for School of Lottie, I'm going to be using this animation. And we need to modify it a bit to get it working as a morphing interaction. As you can see, it's going to play and pop out and then pop back in. And the problem with this is that it's a perfect loop. What we need for a morphing animation is to stop it around here, around frame 30. So like this, when the cursor hovers over the animation, it plays till this frame. Whilst the cursor is still over it, it's gonna stop here. And then when the cursor moves out, it's going to play backwards and pop back in. So the problem is, if the animation um, has its full length, full length, when the cursor is over it, it's going to pop out, but also pop back in. And then when the cursor is removed, it's going to do it again, pop out and then pop back in. And we only want it to do it once. So we've got to cut this animation at frame 30, basically. And this is the same for toggle animations which we'll be covering in another lesson. So for now, we can actually open up After Effects. And this is a super neat trick. We're going to open up After Effects in a new project, head over to Lottie Files, and we can actually copy this URL. Once that's copied, we're going to open up Body Moving. and click on import Lottie animations and we can paste the link here, import it and import it. This is going to load the Lottie animation into After Effects. There we go. We can go back and then you can close that out if you want to. We've got our Tricubes animation and you can see all the shape layers here. This is really awesome. And you can see all the different keyframes and how the animation was made. So this is actually really, really uh, powerful because you can find animations you like on Lottie files and actually see how they were made. So here we have our animation playing for one second. We're going to stop it at frame 30, where all these different keyframes are. So for that, you just crop the working area. So you press N. And there we go. If you play it like this, obviously it's going to look a bit weird. But with a more thing interaction, we're going to hover it. It's going to play. And then we're going to release the cursor and it's going to play backwards. And that's going to look really good and it's going to be interactive. So now we just export it again using body moving all the lot files plugin. And yeah, select it, choose a folder name, render it out. I've already included this in the project, so I don't need to do it. So there we go. But that's how I made our morphing animation. So let's get into the code. Uh, we're going to scroll down to uh, number three and four. So number three, and let's just rename that to four and five. Okay, once again, Lottie Interactive, uh, set its path, 
animations and then for this one I actually got a CPU lock animation also done by uh, Ison, <laughs> Ison Industries I think that's how you pronounce it uh, interaction equals morph and let's add the morph lock so there we go and morph lock I'm going to show what it is uh, but it's the same in the same idea uh, and this is going to be tricube morph so yeah morphing morphing animations I always like to just end them in morph because it's just easier to to know that you're supposed to use this interaction type on them uh, so that's great and uh, we can reload okay so there we go morphing correctly and then morph lock so that's just normal morphing and then if you click on it it's going to stay there and that's how morphing works it's the same gist uh, to get the toggles working as well uh, which we're going to be covering another lesson but if you want to get started on the toggles it's exactly the same method as morphing so that's it for this lesson we just covered morphing and morph locking in this lesson we're going to be learning how to play a switch animation let's add a night and day toggle to our navbar on school of lottie so for this I'm going to use a toggle created by Christina and as you can see it's a perfectly looping animation and at the moment this won't work well with a toggle interaction so if you didn't follow the previous lesson on morphing uh, where I explained how to do it in After Effects I'm just gonna do it again here so head over to Christina's page and copy the Lottie animation URL head over to After Effects and in the body moving plugin plugin click on import a Lottie import from URL it's going to build up the animation for us and it's going to take a little bit of time there we go it's finished importing and now we can find the proper comp we want so here it is so for a toggle animation we can't have it doing a perfect loop uh, if we press if this was our toggle and we pressed it it would go to night and then back to day and that's not what we want if we press it whilst it's on the sun we want it to go to night and then whilst it's at night we want it to go to day again so for this we're going to check out the keyframes and the midway here is two seconds in and we're going to crop the working area so press N and it's as simple as that once we press it it's going to go to night and it's going to stay there and we're going to press the toggle again and let's go back to day so that looks good we now can just re-export this using body moving uh, untitled set the destination and render it out I've already done this and it's already in the project files so you don't have to and I don't have to so we can just close that and close After Effects okay so let's head over to the code okay so we're gonna open up the index and it's the navbar so it's at the top of the page we can then do a lots interactive element set its path to animations slash day night toggle dot json and its interaction is a switch now let's open up the web page there's a lovely toggling button this is really well done animation 
and it's just really nice to be able to toggle it on and off. Uh, I think it looks really good and I just love that it's interactive, it's just so cool. And that's how to add Lotties as toggle animations. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to sync an animation to the scrolling of the page. For this, we're going to start off on LottieFiles.com and find our animation. So I'm going to head over to the Lighthouse animations. Uh, this one is this one works really well with scrolling. So once you've found your animation, you can click on Interactivity, and it loads up a bunch of examples of interactions that Lottie Interactivity offers. So as I said before, Lottie Interactivity is actually made by Lottie Files and Lottie Interactive, which we've been using in all the previous lessons, was made by me. And so now we're switching over to Lottie Interactivity to sync the Lottie with the scroll. So for that, you can find the generated code here. And the first line is actually what you need to include into the HTML. And then the second part is JavaScript code. So, yeah, we're going to copy the HTML Lottie player tag and head over to our web page. And on line 83, we've got the Lighthouse section. So we can just paste that in. Um, I'm going to change a few things. So first of all, let's change the ID to uh, Lighthouse. Actually, I'm going to call it Lottie Lighthouse. And you can use the assets on the website, uh, but I've actually downloaded them and got them in the local project. You will also have them locally if you download the project in the animations folder. Um, and this can speed up load time, so I'm just going to do that. And then we need to find the second bit of code. So let's copy that. And as you can see, we're not copying the script tags because we set up our website um, to actually have our JavaScript and our HTML separated. So if you didn't follow the setting up, uh, video. Basically, we've got a file called interactions in the JS folder. So that's where we're going to put this code. And now we need to change the ID. Uh, so let me just find the lighthouse again. There we go. So this needs to match up with the player here. So this player ID needs to be equal to the HTML ID you set here so that it can find it. And then let's see how that goes. Okay, uh, let's reload it. Okay, okay. Oh, we've got an error. Uh, we've got an error because I put the wrong path. All that suspense for nothing. There we go. And that's pretty well linked up to the to the scroll of the page. That's looking really good. And I'm going to try and center it. So let's try and figure that out. Uh, Lottie player. Okay. I'm going to add. Actually, let's go. I'm going to do it in the HTML. Let's try and center it. So uh, what we're going to do is just jump that, move that, and oops. Uh, let's add a class. And because we're using Bootstrap, we can do justify content center, and we might need to add some margin. Okay, and let's do, 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 do m auto. So that's just margin. If you're not using Bootstrap, that's 
the M auto is just the equivalent of margin auto and justify content center is justify content center. It's the same thing. Uh, and that's how to get your Lottie animation centered and synced up to the scrolling of the page. And as you can see, the lighthouse really lends itself well to this type of interaction. Lovely, that's it for this one. In this lesson, we're gonna be learning how to sync an animation to the movement of the cursor. I really love this interaction type. So let's get to implementing it. Uh, once again, I'm on the Lottie Player Interactivity Guide because we're using Lottie Interactivity, which is made by Lottie Files. And let's scroll down to the interaction we want. So let's scroll down to uh, do, 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 sync cursor position with animation. Okay. So once again, because we have Lottie Interactivity and the Lottie Player, Lottie Files Player already included at the bottom of our page, we can go ahead and start implementing this code. So let's grab the Lottie Player tag. And here it is in the blue in the blueprint section. So let's just paste that. And once again, renaming it to something a bit more memorable. And let's put it locally. So it is called blueprint animations slash blueprint. And blueprint. This for this animation to work, I actually had to cut it in half. Uh, just like I did in the previous lessons, because this animation by Aisian, Aisian Industries um, was a perfect loop, so it would open up and then close again. But I wanted it to stay open when we moved the cursor to the right, and then closed when we moved it back left. So I had to chop it in half. But I've already done that, and I explained how to do it in the previous lessons. And I've done it for you. So just add animations blueprint JSON. Um, and then let's copy the Lottie interactivity code into our JS file. Uh, so what do we call it? We called it blueprint Lottie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Player. There we go. And that shouldn't be loop, that needs to be seek. Uh, and frame 42, let's see if that works. Uh, okay, let's see if that works, refresh. Okay, that's working great. That's such a cool interaction, I really, really like that one. And once again, let's center it. So we're going to add some classes. We're going to add a margin auto and a just to justify content center. There we go. Oh man, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> I really love the interaction. I think that's my favorite out of the whole website. It's just so, so nice, so, so nice. And the animations are great. Every, if, um, definitely check out this dude on Lottie Files. If I can find his profile, just type ice on industries. There we go. He's made a bunch of cube animations recently. Um, they're some of the best on Lottie Files, some of the best animations on Lottie Files. So yeah, definitely check his profile. Um, but otherwise, that is how you sync a lot animation to the horizontal movement of the cursor. Class for today is now over. If you would like to be notified when the rest of the class is released, subscribe to the SV Genius YouTube channel and check out my socials in the description box below. All right. Have a good day and see you in the next class.